I'm Chad. I'm Dad. No, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be Dad first. Oh yeah. You're Dad. I'm Dad. I'm Chad. And this is our channel. So what I did, I think I told you guys earlier, is these two holes come pre-drilled from Rands, and I cleat code the top and bottom of the air cleaner and I made a mark on the tab and I used my caliper and I figured out the distance here and I just went around and just made little marks and I used my straight edge to make a straight line all the way around it and then I just started working my way from the middle outward lining these little tabs up with this line and drilling my holes. Rands did a very good job. The first one that I got from them, this piece right here, was off just a little bit so the bins weren't in the right spot and then the holes were drilled in the wrong spot so this guy stuck out really far and this guy came in so i told them about it and they fixed it and they sent me another one no charge so i was happy with that and i'm very happy with the way this is turning out so you want this to be spaced correctly all the way around because once it comes together and the air cleaner drops the air cleaner will drop in from here and this guy will screw down and as i found out on the other one when dad and i were putting it together we didn't do this line here so it was just a mess the holes got off and it started getting they started going downhill and it just never recovered so this ended up being sucked in real far on one side and kind of out on the other so when the air cleaner went in it when it was screwed down it was like this so it wasn't coming flush with the bottom because of course the air cleaner wouldn't let it because this was too narrow so just make sure you take your time and there may be a better way but this is the best way i could find was to draw the line like i explained earlier and then come around and, and line your tabs up with that line and then mark them and drill them and you're not going to get it perfect you're going to get it really close but i don't think there's any way to get it perfect because it's just too flimsy but this is way better than the first attempt so i'm happy with it yeah so we just recorded about 20 minutes of video building this and then my wife said oh my gosh i wasn't even recording to be fair it was not 20 minutes he 15. is lying 15. not even 15 okay. but probably at least eight We'll never know if it's short recording. <laughs> Oops. So tell them why you're using the really long drill bit. Uh, I just was too lazy to switch back to the other one. Okay. I was using it earlier because some of the holes we drew it without taking it apart. So you can't reach it with the shorter bit. What we did earlier was we were drilling, this piece was off, we were drilling from this way. You won't be able to do it now, but we were drilling down like this. Probably could release this side. Looks like the Statue of Liberty's yeah. crown. Yep. Well, it goes the other way, but okay. We'll see if we can take this apart. Why does it charge me every time I use one of these clickos? That one doesn't do I would be broke. Aren't they just supposed to hold things in place? Yeah, but I'm saying if I got charged like a quarter every time I used one. Oh, yeah. You know, put one on and took it off. I'm already broke from buying this airplane, but I'd be really broke. I'd be in debt. I'll just mark it. I need something to hang the Clico pliers from here because we're always losing them. You need a little tool belt thing. I need a little hook with a chain so I can just like, oops, drop it. Yeah, but you might put a dent in your plane. Yeah. Don't need any help doing that, believe me. Did they send you that punch? No. Yeah. Well, that Sears a long time ago. And they were up in Fort Worth in the mall. Yeah. I don't know if they're still there. No oh, idea. Well, that ended up right on the money. I just did that one. Nice, huh? I think so. We were there in the first time. Yeah, I was like, man, maybe I can put it on the outside like that. It'll work. On your other one? I was just thinking maybe I could put it on the outside and mark all the holes, but it won't work because it won't. It's it just, not it fit it, properly. Well, it throws it off just a little bit. The holes don't end up being in the exact same spot. These two tabs are touching. So I think I'm just going to make a little zip right there so they, they're not overlapping. What's a little zip? Use my little cutoff tool and just zip take it in. Take some off. Yeah, take a little bit of material off. All right. Cool. All right, there's the finished product. So you can look in and see the air cleaner. And what I was explaining earlier is if you get this too narrow, if you squeeze this in too much and rivet it together, and this air cleaner, or the actual element, 
the filter will stick up it will cause this to lift and you'll have huge gaps in between here and the air cleaner well this is correct there will be a stud that goes here for the cable and it this isn't clocked right but it will have a solid piece in here that turns with the cable i'll show more of that later once i get it together but that's it so this unscrews and the air cleaner drops out and then it will go on like so and this will have to come apart and the screws will go up through here to hold it to the servo that's the completed air cleaner assembly. Looks like a space vehicle. All right, what is this step? Let's see if we get the hole straight. This is the forward baggage compartment. Also known as Taylor's seat. Oh, ha yeah. ha. Yeah, right. made a mistake and we drilled those and they were off so we Got moved an inch back and re-drilled once the carpet's on it won't be, won't be seen Yeah. So, like I say, once the carpet's over, it, it'll be fine. It's just thin sheet metal. Yeah, all this will get riveted. There's screws that go here, screws that go here. Rivet, 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 rivet. So really, we're waiting on the coil pack mount. Well, we got the coil pack mount, so we're waiting on from the manufacturer, and we need to start. We need to ask Rands how to cut the cow. I don't want to cut on it until we kind of uh, we don't understand the instructions. So we need that geared up, and then start cutting on it and get all that fitted up. So on the engine, what dad's the coil packs and the cowling? The back hole. Do that after you do the cowling. So that's everything on the engine's done except for the cowling and the full packs and the plug bar, and then the, of course the avionic stuff, all the sensors and everything for the going engine and all that. This will get riveted down once the cool pack mounts come in. Got the exhaust brackets put on today where we wanted them. They're nice and Tight. So it's coming along. Coming along. Coming along. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Dad and Chad. If you like this video, share it with your friends and give us a thumbs up. And never miss an episode of Dad and Chad by hitting that subscribe button. Because we'll be back next Tuesday with another episode. Thanks again for watching Dad and Chad. <laughs>